Media Library is, again, one of those tools that if you do the Canvas course copy, it is not going to bring over your uh, materials that you had stored in your Media Library in your other course. Um, so it's taking forever to load here, but um, if I click on Media Library in my fall site, you'll see that it is sadly very, very empty. It doesn't have anything in here. But what I can do is I can do I can't hear. Help. Kimberly, Kimberly, we can't hear you. Fortunately, I think when this happens, she can't hear us either. On um take uh, Kimberly, can you go back um to the media library things? You cut out again and we couldn't hear you. Sure. Um, so when you want to copy media library content, um, all you need to do is, uh, it will be a separate process. It is not part of the Canvas course import that I already did. When you click on media library in your fall 2020 course site, you'll see that it is empty. And when you're in here, um, I do recommend you come to your fall 2020 site first and take a quick mental note of the title of the folder here at the top. So mine is the Fall 2020 TBM 10101 uh, site. So just keep that in mind. And then what you want to do is now we're, we're actually going to need to go back to that old course where the files, the media library files are stored. And so I'm going to quickly jump over into my sandbox site, which is where I stored some things. So now I'm in my early course sandbox site. And when I go into media library, it will show I have two files in here. You do have a couple of options on how you can get your content over into your fall 2020 site. Um, you can choose to copy both of these over. So you would have, you would maintain a copy in the sandbox and then you would also have a copy in your fall 2020 site. You could choose to just move these, which means they would no longer be in my sandbox. They would be shifted and moved completely over to my fall 2020 site. And those two options are great if you typically tell students to click on the media library button to find your videos. So if, if that's how you get students to watch your videos is you tell them specifically click media library and then watch the videos, you can certainly move or copy. And that's, that's where I'll start first. And the easiest way to do this is once you are in your old course or your sandbox course, and you're in the media library, there's a little button off to the right here which pops you out so that your media library is actually just the whole tab instead of seeing Canvas around it. And once you have the whole tab open, when you hover over a file, you'll get a checkbox on the file, which will allow you to pick multiple files if you want, or you could just pick one, either or. Um, so, and at that point, once you have your files selected, you can then choose to either copy to your new course or move. Uh, right now, I'll just show a copy. Um, so I'll click on copy. And then it's going to ask me where I want to copy it to. And that's where remembering what that folder was for uh, your media library, which is why I left it open over here in my fall site, it's fall 2020 TBM 101. So that's where I wanna copy it to. So in here, you can click on here. If it doesn't display here, you can just start typing fall 2020 TBM. And this is where I wanna copy it to is my fall site. So then I can click on there and then I can just say copy and it's going to trigger a copy. And now I can close this window. And now this file will remain in my sandbox site, media library, 
and a copy of it will now appear in my fall 2020 site as well. And when I refresh the page, it will show that it copied that over. Now, if you are typically embedding your media library files onto a page or as part of a, an announcement assignment or something, but you're displaying it um, by embedding it on a page, you will actually probably want to do a different method. You won't want to copy or move it because that embed is really, it, it will get broken and then the video won't display. So if you are embedding, my recommendation, I'm going to go back over again to my sandbox site. And, uh, and again, when you pop that out, which is my preferred, you pop that out and get media library by itself. Your other option is to just click on the share option. And when you click on share, you can actually keep the file in your sandbox or your old course. And you can just choose to share it with the media library of another course. Um, so in here, you can see that in my sharing, it's showing that my sandbox creators and creators are instructors and TAs and my sandbox viewers, which is anyone with a student level role, have access to this file. And so what I can do is now invite the creators and viewers from my official site to this. And again, that's the key of remembering what your folder name is over here, that fall 2020 TBM 101. So if I type in fall 2020, TBM. You can now see that I have my official site. I have both creators and viewers, and I will want to add both of those. So now I will again start typing TBM 101. So I want to add both the creators and the viewers uh, so that they will be able to see this. And then I will uncheck. I'm not going to notify them by email and then I'll click on Save Changes. And then what that does is now this file will remain inside of the Sandbox folder, but now anybody enrolled in either my Sandbox site or my official fall site will be able to view the video when it's embedded on a page. Um, so that's a lot of information and a lot of, a lot of steps there. Um, so I want to make sure that uh, we open it up for questions, anything that you might be concerned about in terms of the features that we just went through, the, the Canvas course copy and course reserves and media library. I have one for to help clarify what you just showed with the sharing. So you showed how to share a video on a specific video. I imagine you can do the same thing for the whole folder if, if uh, everyone wanted to share the entire folder over with the next coming class. Are the, the steps that different or are they pretty much the same uh, process? It would be pretty much the same process um, in terms of if you have the folder that you want to share when you're in the folder. You won't see the share button obviously here. The share button is actually up here in the main toolbar in the same row as the title of your folder. And you would click on that. And then you would be able to, again, the same way that I just invited to that specific um, file, I could then just type in here and invite them to the entire folder.